So as you can see, I've uh, replaced the rat's nest of wiring on the proto board with uh, a proper mounted board for the tiny Pico and the uh, the frequency synthesizer. So here's the tiny Pico here mounted on some headers. Got the encoder here. Got the uh, uh, SI5351 synthesizer and then uh, the LCD is mounted here too. Um, so as I suspected the uh, performance of the radio is much better when it's mounted and I don't have wires uh, flying everywhere. Uh, I'll give you a listen shortly after this. Uh, one of the uh, annoying things I was able to fix is uh, every time you uh, move the encoder there was a, a sharp click on the radio. Now uh, the, the reason for that is um, it's to do with the, 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 the way you change frequencies on the SI5351. Uh, you're not supposed to issue a PLL reset. And in fact, what I might do in the next video is just do a quick tutorial, at least what I know of the uh, SI5351, um, how you program it, uh, what the various options means. Uh, at least as far as building quadrature radios go, there's a lot of uh, functionality in the SI5351. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll give you a listen to the radio. Um, this is on 40 meters. The band is quite active at the moment. So uh, I'll just tune up and down and I'll keep quiet and you can, uh, you can hear the performance of the radio for yourselves. The last letter. Can you say the last letter phonetically? One thing that I do have to uh, fix, and I, I will do that, is you can hear the um, uh, the wrong sideband coming through. Then, so you could, you heard that then when I uh, tuned down through uh, through that strong signal, you could hear the uh, uh, the upper sideband. It is uh, in, in this case the wrong one for 40 meters. Um, you could hear that quite strongly. Uh, it's it basically sounds like garbled speech. Um, so yeah, that's something I also want to work on uh, as well. There is, I do have a uh, schematic out there for a um, uh, a proper uh, single sideband um, uh, phase shifter. Um, the uh, the the one the the one here is, as I mentioned before, more for uh, CW. And so what you need is you need a wider wider range of frequencies that have that uh, that have that accurate 90 degree offset. Uh, in them. So anyway, uh, that's the uh, that's the radio. Uh, like I said, probably I'll do a, a follow-up video on the SI5351, and that'll be coming up next.